get to say 30. We're going to see which top 12 poets are going to go to the next round. Well, I told myself I was worth much more than that. In that moment, I wanted that. For him to caress my body with his masculinity till my existence was entirely for his pleasure, I liked it. I like the attention that is. The backdrop of it is somebody, I was on the bus, and this guy, he was like, he wanted to like have sex with me. Like that was his first impression of me because of my body type. So I remember I, I was having a bad day in general. So it's basically about like that feeling of when you take negative like compliments and like you take it and you're like, oh, that's cool. Like he thought I was all of that, but truly all he wanted was one thing. Woo! And I, along with his caramel skin, we could have made lattes together or mochas, but he didn't even know my first name, so pronouns never spoke so loudly through the oozing thick heat between us, but it wasn't that I was naive. I mean, I knew hearing it loud and clear, but brick walls coming inside from had to come down sometimes to experience the sunshine even when darkness travels near, right? It inspired my poem was, you know, the people that was around me, um, the people, you know, that's, that's in my environment, um, such as, you know, being in school, um, such as my friends up in the neighborhood. Place me somewhere I do not belong, but just because of my skin color, you have it all set for me. And the day that I was born, a prison cell was reserved and had my name written all over it, drawn with my black skin, dripping blood from the infected veins that infiltrate my arms and my neck. And accordingly to you, I have no heart in my chest. Now my body pumps poison, drowning me into poverty, forcing me to live up to my final destination. Hey, boy,